Welcome to the training log for the 19th of February 2007, the FMARS training. Today we have a special segment for you of Mars Society founder Bob Zubrin, and uh, he's going to talk about the crew selection process for FMARS. Okay, to uh, select the crew, we put out an open call for volunteers. We received uh, somewhat over 50 volunteers from all over the world uh, who uh, were qualified. Uh, and we had to select a crew out of that. We wanted to have um, geologists in the mission, we wanted to have biologists in the mission, we wanted to have um, uh, engineers in the mission, uh, and uh, that was the, the main criteria. Um, and uh, um, so uh, we also wanted to have uh, certain personalities in the mission that, that might be uh, qualified to command the mission. Um, and uh, we presented with a number of, well, we had a, a very large number of good candidates. I had to say no to a lot of very good people. Um, one group that came in as a group uh, was a very strong team from Canada, um, who uh, most of them had already been uh, crew members of MDRS and we knew them. And they had already uh, selected a leader, someone, uh, Mel, who we uh, also knew. And that uh, really provided a convincing argument to form the core of the crew around uh, the Canadian team. Um, and uh, then we found additional people from uh, the Mars Society's uh, own engineering group um, uh, and uh, a biologist that was known to us who had participated in crews before. And putting it all together, it looked like a good team, and we went with it. Uh, there were conceivably other crews that could have been put together out of the pool of volunteers. We had uh, quite a few good people, but uh, I think we have found a good crew, and uh, I'm very confident about this mission.